it feel great. You know, finally get that monkey off my back. So something I've been wanting to do. So I mean, feel great. Is that something the defensive backs kind of give people that haven't had an interception a hard time about, or is that something you get grief? Yeah, I know uh, Diggs and X. Uh, they all been kind of on me about getting this Shaheen too. So I feel like I'm the oldest person that was here without a pick. So now I finally got it. So now all the jokes, they they, they calm down. Did you tell them anything on the sideline after you got the pick? Or? No, I, I was too. I was too happy. Like. Uh, and I was tired. I, I I ain't had the ball in my hand and really had to run with it in a while. So, you know, I really had no words for nobody. Did you feel like you were going to score? Oh, uh, I, I felt like I could have. Like, I ain't seen nobody catching me, not from behind at least. Uh, if I'd have had a couple more blocks, I feel like I could have made it. What's the season like for you? Kind of finally, after a couple of years of kind of waiting your turn, getting your opportunity to, to start play a significant role? Uh, I mean, the season going going good. Um, you know, just just still trying to figure out everything that it takes to, you know, be a, a dominant starter on this team. Um, you know, I'm still learning, still learning, still getting better at it. Um, you know, it just makes it easy with everybody around me, everybody being positive. Um, you know, just still trying to still trying to grow. Can't be satisfied with where I'm at. Just keep getting better. What's it like on the field where some of these teams are putting up long drives, you know, 10, 11, 12 play drives? What's it like on the field? Um, I mean, it's pretty intense on the field. You know, when teams are putting to get together drives, you, you know, you're trying to control your breathing. But at the same time, you know, whatever, I guess, what's ever happening that's making them, making those drives last, you know, you're trying to talk to somebody, you know, man, let's get it together. Like, we need to stop right here, you know, no more. You know, those kind of words, we tell each other, you know, we need to snap out of whatever's happening. We need to step up right now as a defense. So we can put our offense on the field and let those playmakers make plays. Does it feel like it kind of compounds, like one big play leads to another big play and it's kind of a snowball downhill? Um, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say, you know, big plays is bring more, more big plays, but, you know, a big play happens. You know, you want everybody to reset and focus on the next play. We can't. You know, we can't stop that play from happening no more. We need to focus on the next play, get everybody on defense sound for the next play so all 11 guys can play fast. Are you all ready for this bye week? Do you all feel like I'll need this? Um, I mean, I feel like we, we, if everybody approaches the bye week the right way, it can, it can be good for the team. You know, just get back to the fundamentals, focus, you know, getting back to communicating, tackling as a defense. So, you know, I feel like everybody has the right the right idea to execute the bye week. What are you going to be weeks, doing? These bye weeks, you know, there's a lot of uh, internal evaluation, a lot of individual evaluation. Where, where have you, where do you feel like you need to improve individually and maybe the secondary as a whole? Um, me as an individual, I know I need to get better at my, um, I want to say like communicating skills, you know, trying to get the call echoed across the board. Um, not really too much of a talkative guy, so trying to trying to you know break through that barrier in itself, and then also I, I know I still need to you know continue to work on my tackling, my my tackling on the perimeter, coming down, you know playing safety. So in the SEC at that, so there's a lot of big backs out there, so I need to make sure I'm not just you know just coming up and hitting guys as hard as I can. I need to be able to hit and wrap up. So wrapping up is definitely something that's on my focus and then as a secondary, you know, perimeter tackling, playing the ball in the deep part of the field, communication skills, you know, that's what I feel like all of us know we need to work on for the bye week. What have you seen from Jordan? You get to work with him in the dime package. Oh yeah, Jordan, uh, you know, he coming into his own, he, uh, you know, funny, he, he a funny kid. He, you know, he goes out there and plays with a lot of energy, you know, he'll, you know, what he doesn't know, He'll ask, he'll ask in meetings, or even out on the field, you know, he'll look at me and I'll make sure I look at him to make sure he, he's doing the right thing. So, I mean, he crazy athlete. I mean, like, I mean, the guy, the guy, the guy gonna be a good time. You mentioned your communication. Is that even more important when you're playing next to a true freshman? Yeah, that is, that's definitely something you need to, um, I make sure that he, he's on, he's on um, the same page I'm on. I always make sure I, 
you know, after I get the call from the sideline, I'll look at him. Or if, like, you know, the formation changes, I'll make sure I look at him, you know. But I feel like he always looking at me. So, you know, we, we always going to be on the same page. It's not too many times where we don't understand what's going on. Devontae said he's going to be, you know, watching football this Saturday. Is that something you're going to do, or you just want to take a break from it and just kind of step back and, you know, just some me time kind of thing? I mean, I'll probably watch a game or two. I know I got a couple friends that play at different places, but for the most part, me sitting down on the couch, you know, chilling. How ready are you for next week's game against Texas A&M, kind of homecoming of sorts? What'd you say? How ready are you for next week's game against the Texas A&M, just kind of a homecoming of sorts? Uh, I mean, right now I'm just trying to try to prepare for this bye week. Like, I cannot even try to look for it, like look too much into that until it gets here. Um, Texas A&M is going to be crazy because it is in Texas, but right now I can't really focus on them until I get through this. During, during the week, how much time do you spend with a defensive coordinator as a linebacker's coach? Do you spend much time with a defensive coordinator? Uh, I mean, I see Pete, Pete a, a good amount. Um, I probably see Coach Kelly, Coach Kelly, the safety's coach more. I know I'm in his office from 11 till whenever I get out of class till it's time to start meetings for the team. So, I mean, I'm more so with Coach Kelly more than I am with, with um, Pete, but I mean, I still see Pete a good amount too. Thank you.